all right guys this is my first ever video um to go on youtube and uh just figured i would kind of share it since there's really nobody uh that had one of these on there um that i looked but this is um winterizing a 2017 hideout by keystone travel trailer so um basically what i did was is i put um some got some antifreeze marine rv Walmart Super Tech, uh, three bottles, gallon. Got three gallons. I ended up not having to use it all. I mean, it's just your my standard travel it's trailer. It's not not big. It's not your fifth wheel or nothing. It was just a starter for me and the wife. So um, basically, how before while this video starts, um, I went ahead. And I bypassed my. Uh, there's a wall separating here uh, when you get underneath here under, underneath the sink. Um, there's the wall. It's like a false wall. Um, contacted my RV uh, place, Walnut Ridge RV in Newcastle, Indiana. That's where I bought the RV at. Um, it was used. Um, they kind of ran me through it, but uh, basically what I did was, um, is I bypassed this. This is the water heater. It's got one bypass valve. Some of them have three on there. One right here, up here. But this one only had one. He just t told me to turn it up. Um, this is your pump, and this is my line I bought from them and had shipped to me. Um, all it was was I just got you take that little blue knob right here, little snap on thing, and just this thing snaps right in there. I'm not gonna pull it out just because that, I don't want that antifreeze leaking all over everywhere. But <coughs> excuse me, pulled this out towards that way, and then just had this it this was connected to it this is to your your regular water whenever you're you know doing your camping stuff throughout the year uh have your water go through your water heater and everything and just pretty much but this is a separate line just popped it and bought from there um you could probably get it from your local dealer and uh they'll ship it to you um it was like 16 bucks is what they ended up getting it i went to try to find it at lowe's couldn't find anything um another plumbing supply store around where I live and still didn't have any luck trying to find that plastic piece. I didn't want to buy stuff and have to keep going back and forth. So I just had ended up having it shipped to me. And uh, so they gave me this line, just shoved it down in the thing, um, bypassed this um, before. And um, I drained my water, you gotta drain your water heater, which I'll show here in just a few minutes. Since I'm already in here, I thought, thought I figured I'd start through here. Basically all I did was, it's just like your normal stuff. You turn on your, as you're pumping this stuff out, turn on your hot and cold, do each sink. I wiped it out, that way it didn't leave any stains, just in case if it's sitting over the winter. Did this sink, uh, the bathroom sink, hot hot and cold. Uh, did the toilet, you see the residue in there. Uh, did the bathtub, not really worried about the bathtub, wiping it down. Um, I uh, did hot and cold on there as well, and then I also did hot and cold on the, on the shower head as well. We want, I want to get all that stuff cleaned out. Um, kind of early for me to start doing this, but we're uh, not going to be camping anymore for the rest of the year, so that was just something I'd just go ahead and get out of the way. Um, but yeah, that's just the starter right there. Um, the first thing I did was drain my water heater. I'm going to show you here. There's Moose. Good boy. He's one of my camping partners. So I just... Here's where my water heater was at. If I can get this thing out of here. Oh, it falls right down there, all right. Okay, so and this is where um, the bolt is for the uh, water heater. Um, it's a long tube. Uh, mine's starting to decay, so probably I'll go ahead and just replace it at the beginning of the camping season. Just go ahead and get it, get it ready. Um, but before you do that, you wanna release this right here. I'm not gonna release it just because I don't wanna get wet or nothing but it's just like a pressure valve it just releases some water that, that way whenever you take this off you do not get sprayed and you just don't want to get wet and everything so that's this is the first step you didn't do um it's kind of a screwed up video but you know first youtube video ever so i'm just i was already inside i didn't want to start and keep going back in, in and out so release this empty this out it takes like five minutes to drain out uh, for your water heater and then uh I also close my close my clean tank, my uh, clean fresh valve tank. Uh, turn that to the side. That way the antifreeze wouldn't drain out and everything. 
while I was sucking that stuff through. Um, but yeah, that's the cover. Um, it's right next to the door, obviously, um, for the water heater. So you want to drain that first, and then do your do your bypass, and then you know suck everything through, and then obviously you know turn your pump on here, and that'll suck everything through. So quick, uh, easy thing. It was just more or less just me buying the part uh, and taking that false wall. That was the hardest part out. But other than that, it was easy. So, um, got any questions or comments, uh, put them in there. Might be able to answer. But like I said, I'm kind of new with this thing. So, I just figured I'd post it on there since I didn't really see one on there for a hideout. So, uh, thanks a lot, guys. See you.